Every single day I get asked the question, how can I become a day trader this year? And I am telling you, it might be one of the best times to get into it, but it may also be one of the worst. But before we go down that rabbit trail, let me tell you exactly who I am. My name is Tyler Wilson, and you see I run Option Pops. That's my other YouTube channel and company. And basically what I do there is I talk about the S&P 500, NASDAQ, and indexes, some boring stuff. We'll get into that later. But in short terms, I basically give predictions on how I see the market moving and it's all free on that channel. Besides that, I spend all my time full-time trading. We'll get more into how much time goes into that. And then of course, I studied finance at U of H here in Houston. So yes, I know what you're thinking. I sit at home all day, I enjoy the good life and I make millions driving my Lambo. Well, actually the last part was false, but I do live a good life. And I'm gonna tell you exactly how to get started in day trading right now. Now, as we get into this, it's gonna be pretty short, sweet to the point, so stay with me, rewind if you have to. Let's get to it. Time. Now, I know that sounds very broad, but you need to understand if you're trying to get into day trading, it requires a lot of time. I sit at this desk every single day talking about stocks, looking at stops, trading stocks, all day long for about seven to eight hours a day and you're watching and you probably just left the room. But stay with me because there's more, but I wanna throw this out there first because this is the biggest deal breaker of all. I mean, am I saying that you gotta be trading for eight hours a day? No, that's not what I'm saying at all. However, you do need to understand trades don't just show up at your door and you're making $500 nonstop. Two, and I know people are gonna have a lot of questions about this, so stick with me if you will. Now, a lot of people are gonna say you can start trading with $500, $1,000, $200, the numbers are everywhere. Then you also learn about that you need $25,000 a day trade, and is that really true? As far as $25,000, you don't need that. That's kind of ridiculous. As far as $500 goes, that's also ridiculous. Now, personally, I started this little bit of a challenge because I had a lot of questions regarding this specific question. I'm gonna move over to this channel so we can also discuss it, but that won't be till later, obviously. But it's gonna be regarding how much you need to start trading. And I always said 2,500, but as times progressed, I really have thought this number to become 5,000. This is not set in stone, so just hear me out, but these are my reasons. I think 5,000 gives you wiggle room to take decent trades as far as not limiting which stocks you wanna trade or if you wanna trade futures or whatever you're doing. Grab fewer contracts and give you wiggle room for taking some losses as long as gaining those wins along the way. But before you jump into trading, that's just the overall equity that you need to have. Number three is the most important one. And go figure, it's developing your strategy. Now, I will say these three things are the biggest factors when it comes to learning and knowing how to day trade. Time, the equity amount, because if you start with too little, then you're gonna be lost in all the sauce. And then of course, number three, developing that strategy. You see, the problem with developing a strategy is you start to go all over the place. You're using 30 indicators, you're listening to 20 different people, you're on Twitter, you're trying to find the best place. That is not a strategy, my friends. That is called hoping, praying, and crossing those fingers. So it comes back on us working hard and developing that strategy. That's why I personally use a price action based strategy. And then of course the other channel I have has information there to teach people how to do that as well. But I'm gonna be doing a more hands-on approach if you will, so you get a lot of personal time with your boy. Sound good? Still interested? Well good, because these are the three things you need to focus on before coming back for the next video your equity and the strategy you want to focus on. Focus on specifically how you want to day trade and how much time you want to be putting into this because that's going to really dictate what type of strategy you want to do. So really start to think about it and take it seriously like it's your job. And while you're thinking about that, I'll be cooking up the next video so you know what's next. Speaking of which, I should probably get to work.